What's going on my Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. So we're in Grand Arena and I wanted to put out a real good show on defense. Let's get a helpful comment thread started. I want to know what everyone's doing to be successful in their division. You know, what's your strategy? And uh, what are you doing before you even set defense? We're going to talk about some of that today. So if you're new to my channel, that's what I'm all about. If you're new to the game, if you're a mid-level player, you will dominate by the time you reach my division because you'll be prepared. You're going to see shows like this. You're going to know the kind of teams you have to build and the teams you're going to face. All right, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to go to round one first. So in round one, we face Potato. Pretty cool dude. He didn't respond to my in-game chat, but he has a Galactic Legend, and he has Seven Star Negotiator, and that still does not seal your win. So he's got a Galactic Legend, which is great. I always say get your Galactic Legend, uh, but right after that, you, know, you see it. There's no Darth Revan, there's no Darth Malak, there's no gas. You gotta have these proper squads that just cancel each other out when you get to the higher divisions. You gotta have JKR, you gotta have a Padme squad, you gotta have Darth Revan and Darth Malak or gas and your GL. That's what solidifies your domination. So since he doesn't, it makes it super easy. So let's go take a look at what happened in the round. So let's put something helpful in the comment section. You know, in all kinds of divisions. You know, in Division 11, I got some good buddies. My buddy Dark Nihilus let me know the fleet's worth more points. You gotta hold that top. So I wanna know what's everyone putting on the top wall to try to get a hold to solidify your win. Um, in Division 11, you only have to have three teams on defense. You need seven in Division 7. <laughs> That's cool. So up top, I wanna hold the top at all costs. So I put my three best defensive teams up top. And of course, he could not clear through it. I knew he was gonna have a hard time. So since I knew he was not gonna clear the top three teams with what he had, I put trash on fleet, okay? My fleet's terrible, I only have two good teams, okay? And then down below, I let them have the bottom, guys. You can't hold every single sector. Let them have the bottom. But in the front down, You've got to let them kind of deter going down or top. You can't just let them go full range on your top and use all their best team because your bottom wall, front wall is trash. So I put a good team and then another sneaky team. So Beskar Mando to me is a sneaky team. It actually got a hold in the second round. But I don't put trash up front. Don't ever do that. Your trash should be in the back wall. So when they get back here, let them have it. I don't care what banners they get. You know, you can't have seven good defensive teams. You know, it's very hard to build that many teams. So I've got Ewoks. They're pretty sneaky. They get underestimated. And then you've got this mismodge team because of JKL farm. Bold Ben, Wampa, Lando, uh, unmodded Kylo Ren Amass, unmodded Dengar. All right, so let's go take a look at round two. And then also, let me know in the comment section, you know, from division 11, what division do you get to where you actually see more teams on defense so my good buddies can be prepared? Like, you got to start building the viable, correct teams. All right, let's go to round two. So round two, face it, a good buddy named John Cena. He actually did reply to my um, chat, which is pretty cool. I love to, this is where I actually learn things too, and I'll kind of show you guys. So take a look at John Cena's roster. This homeboy right here. Look at that squad arena team. Just two tunes? All right, that's pretty cool. All right, look at this. He's got two Galactic Legends. That just blows my mind. In Division 7, first time I've ever seen that. But, what's behind that? No Gas, no Darth Revan, no Darth Malak, no Padme, not even Relic Commander Luke Skywalker. So I thought maybe he would put both of his GLs on offense, and I was hoping he was gonna put his Sith Eternal on, def or on defense because he's done what I've recommended. Critical avoidance arrow. Uh, this has to be tenacity over protection. What that will solidify basically is the only Vader that can take out your Sith Eternal is like top modded Vader. Like I would think with the critical avoidance arrow, your crit chance would have to be over 100%. Um, I would definitely want potency really high because uh, Sith Eternal has a lot of tenacity. You gotta land those dots, okay? All right, so now let's talk about you know, what's everyone doing like before they set defense? Please let me know you are taking a look at your opponent. There are some things that you have to look at that are super helpful to me and I want to go over them. Okay, so first right off the bat, 
first thing I'm looking for is a scoundrel. A dirty scoundrel. All right, who am I looking for? Boom, Ness, right there. I'm looking for one shots. Toon that can one shot a team that you're putting on defense to get easy banners. When you get to division seven and higher, it's sometimes it's all about banners. I think above division seven and six, you're not holding on defense anymore. It's basically uh, how many, how efficiently can you do your battles and how many, uh, basically, yeah, that, that's what it comes down to is how many is, is down to banners. That's it. So this nest is definitely not soloing anything of mine. Then I immediately go to Sith. I'm looking at two Sith only. Treya, number one. At Division 7, you've got to have a Relic Treya. Treya's eating bugs alive. Now, above Division 7, I'm sure Treya's used for other things. She's used for GL counters, but she's modded for bugs only. Her and Scion, critical avoidance arrows. Uh, Treya gets critical avoidance from her Relic. When you hit her, it's like noodles hitting her. Just her and Scion can solo bugs. I've never had to use more than three if I didn't. I have just for fun, but I've never used more than three that if I didn't have to. Okay, and then you want to take a look at Darth Rhea. Remember, uh, Darth Rhea has to be critical avoidance arrow or you can't solo bugs. You need that crit avoidance arrow. All right, Vader, you only pay attention to two things, speed and potency. 231, terrible, because by himself, 16 boost, he is not soloing my bugs. My Brood Alpha is 278 speed. Um, Brood's going first and taking out Vader right away. And then a potency is only 56%. That is terrible. So I practice in squad arena all the time just for everyone. Um, just put out content like this. So my Vader, uh, or excuse me, my Brood Alpha cannot be debuffed by Vader. He cannot apply dots to my Brood Alpha. It, it will hit the others, but I've put battles on auto all the time just to see if Vader can apply dots to my Brood Alpha. I've had his tenacity a lot lower than 160% 160, 160 combined with his kit, and he did get debuffs. He did get dots from Vader, but now he does not. So I know this Vader is not taking on my bugs, all right? So like I said, guys, what are you looking at specific tunes? That's what I'm looking at that's super helpful. Next, we're going to go to back to his front roster. You know, you can look at things like how fast is his Jedi Revan. Um, but to me, Jedi Revan is not on defense. He is always on offense. That's why I always say he has to be a must-have squad. Um, this Jedi Revan, let's see, I think he was pretty quick. Yes, 318 speed, so 348, uh, 358 speed. This Revan is definitely taking out whatever your opponent's usually third best team is. But since he doesn't have Gas or Darth Vader or Darth Malak, that's not too good. Okay. You can look at Thrawn's speed, you can look at Anakin's potency. I think his potency was pretty low. Yeah, 56%. There's a nest out there somewhere that's soloing this Padme squad. My guildmates do it all the time. Okay, and then <laughs> my phone going off. We're going to look at leaders. All right, guys, when you get up to Division 7, this is super helpful. Break the, break the roster down. Pull up the leaders. You gotta have 14 leaders. Most people don't even have 14 good leaders. I know I don't. So let's take a look. I'm not counting GLs. So since his Vader is so slow, he's running his Vader with his Palpatine, 100%, I can guarantee that. So that's one. Kylo Ren unmasked is usually with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren for the tank, so still only one squad. Okay, JKR is two. So his second squad is Jedi Knight Revan. That's not too good. Okay, and then no Thrawn, Anakin no, Sidious no, Pyatt no, Dooku no, General Grievous, that's three. Hux no, I'm not counting CLS, Jedi Training, they're gear 12. They are not taking out anything that I have on the front wall. Nothing. And then Captain Phasma, four. She is always on defense, every round. I get max banners of my bounty hunters against them, and my banners are gear 12. Uh, that's four. Okay, Basil Sean, no. Tarkin, no, Veers, Veers, okay, that, that's, that, that's five. No Padme Relict, no Brood Alpha Relict. That's it. He's got five squads. So a GL is going to be on defense, and then possibly maybe, maybe two good teams. So I knew right away he wasn't going to actually do very well at all. So it doesn't always guarantee a win if you get a Galactic Legend, guys. you got to have those core teams. So let's get into this uh, battle. So I, I'm still gonna go. Like I'm still gonna get uh, more, I'm trying to do this counter right here. I'll talk about it in a little bit. All right, so up top, like I said, 
I already knew he had garbage. So I thought maybe he could probably steal because I thought maybe he was, gonna, he was gonna hold his GLs for offense. So I put a thick wall up top. General Grievous, which I didn't think it was gonna get four holds. That's crazy. Then I've got my bugs. As I said, my bugs are not being soloed. They're amazing. They're, they're requiring my opponent, since he doesn't have Treya, to use one of his top squads to take it out. And it didn't work. And he tried it again, it didn't work again. And then I've got my JKR squad. I usually never put them on defense, but I knew his JKR was so fast, he would have to do JKR, JKR mirror match, but he used his Sith Eternal, okay? So he used his fast JKR for, I think, maybe General Grievous, and it didn't work? Wow, okay? So, no, no, I think he saved his JKR for defense. Yeah, we'll go take a look. He did save his JKR for defense. So he couldn't even clear through the front wall, and I thought he definitely would. So with that in case, I put my top fleet in the back. So I knew his fleet was garbage. So sorry I didn't take a look at fleet, but you always want to look at the fleet, uh, the capital ships. I look at the capital ships first to see if he has four good fleets, and then I look at the regular ships. Depending on how many regular good ships he has, how I set my defense for fleet. Since I knew, or not that I knew, I thought maybe he would save his GL so he would clear through my front wall, I had to hold the back fleet wall. I know he wasn't clearing through it. His fleet's not good enough. So, he still can't even get to the front wall. Now on the bottom, like I said, you don't want to put garbage. I've got Newt, and he couldn't even get through it. So, may, many times there's in 5v5, there's a lot of feats going on for undersized squad. I do it all the time. So he probably tried that, and it didn't go well. You know, Dooku's quick, Newt, Newt's quick. They can Assage, and Dooku can ability block. You know, you got stuns, stealth going on. You got zombie taunting. That, that team's pretty crazy at gear 12. And then Beskar Mando usually always gets undermanned and gets underestimated. IG-11's quick, or not quick, he's thick. IG is fast, goes before IG, uh, sorry. Quill is fast, goes before IG-11. Um, Mission and Zal are pretty good. So it's a pretty good, decent little squad. So you're definitely not um, using a garbage squad to take out that Beskar Mando. Save your garbage to the back. Ewoks and then my old Ben squad. Okay, so now let's take a look at his defense. So he did save his JKR for defense because it's super quick, but I'm gonna have no problems taking it out because the rest are garbage. You know, Grandmaster Yoda uh, Relic 2, his special offense was, wasn't even over 6,000. The rest is gonna be super easy with my Padme squad. Uh, Bounty Hunter's not a problem. He had his bugs. You know, I used um, Treya and Scion. It was super easy. I probably could have done it with Treya, but I just like using them both together. Okay, and then downstairs, how I said, Captain Phasma is always on defense. They're all relic. I took them out with the gear 12 uh, bounty hunters with the gear 13 boss, easily max banners. So guys, that's been some strategy for defense. I hope that's super helpful. I hope I covered enough. There's anything that I missed, guys, any tips you have, you know, any failures that you've gone through that you want advice on, this is the place to put the comments. We're gonna get some great answers. I wanna hear tips, uh, advice, especially for me going in higher divisions. So guys, I hope that was super helpful. Blast the like button, tell your guild. Until next roster review, Darth Kimchi signing out.